Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking Time Pieces, where we talk about watch collecting and horology. Today on Fun With Straps, we're going to uh, play with this 1970, early 1970, came out in 1971-72, um, this 50-year-old Omega Memomatic Alarm Mechanical Watch. Now, um, vintage watches are also something you can have a lot of fun with, with straps. It doesn't have to be a new watch, and it doesn't even have to be a fancy or sporty watch. It can just be any watch. Just have some fun with it. Even a vintage piece like this can have a lot of different faces with different straps. Let's uh, try it with something different. Here it is on a uh, blue NATO, kind of a seatbelt sheen on the NATO. It's that smooth kind of nylon. Works well with this one. This uh, NATO strap really does work color-wise with this watch. Really uh, makes it look sporty. Let's try it on something else. Here it is on a uh, gray NATO, something that matches the case more than it does the face. But uh, I think it works on this watch. Another good alternative. Let's check out something else. And uh, <laughs> this uh, tricolor is always the one I joke about wearing on the 4th of July or Bastille Day. But uh, even it looks a little fun and sporty. I wouldn't necessarily wear it with this piece, though. I just figured I'd throw it on for a laugh. Here it is on a classy blue alligator. I borrowed off of my uh, Frederic Constant. <laughs> but uh, it shows you you can really dress up a vintage very nicely. I mean, uh, this would work well with a suit even today. Not bad for a 50-year-old watch. Let's check it out on something else. Yeah, this one looks nice. I like the way that the striped NATO works with this. This is another uh, good alternative to the uh, Milanese. Hmm, on this uh, black NATO, it looks sporty, but a little serious, you know. Um, not a bad presentation either. Frankly, if I'm going to wear a NATO, I would wear a color or a contrasting color or, you know, like the uh, gray or the blue. But uh, black works too. And uh, I always like to end it on the uh, tactical strap because, hey, you never know when you want to make sure that you'll never scratch your piece when you're out. Or as I always like to joke, if it were a Rolex, you can always hide it between bars. <laughs> but uh, that's the uh, Omega Memomatic Vintage on a variety of straps. If you liked it, please tell your friends. Leave a like. Please subscribe. And uh, have a great day. <laughs>